platform, and the first stage was connected to a two-inch shaft. The wheel was designed with flexible bearings so that either side could be lifted out of the water for maintenance. The levers could be secured using a chain on the back of the frame. One change was made to the final design. The first stage was changed to a motorcycle chain, and the second stage remained as a belt. While this could all be designed in the lab, the challenge is to pull it all together. A concrete anchor was built using a tube of sheet metal, rebar, and pipes. It was connected using a 5 8 inch steel wire. The anchor was placed by setting it on the front of the boat and then dropping it into the fastest current. A rope and floats were connected to the steel wire so that the wire would not sink to the bottom and get lost. Then, the water wheel platform was launched. This is the lightest water wheel made to date because the pontoons are made of 0.9 millimeter stainless steel. Guiding the floating platform using paddles, the team of locals gently pull the steel wire and move it into position. Meanwhile, a team was on shore, digging to install the 400-foot electrical cable to the equipment at the charging station. While preparing the trench and cable, the generator mounting was started by the electrical team. This work was delicate because all of it was completed on the water. The construction team had only one of each part, so everything was tethered. Although the layout was tested in the lab, the final installation needed to be precisely installed and mounted to avoid conflict between the generator's electrical parts and mechanical motion. Once the main electrical was connected, the platform was ready to have the chain connected and the wire brought from shore. Putting over 400 feet of wire into a conduit proved to be a challenge because it had to be pushed. This was accomplished by putting the conduit on a downhill slope and pouring liquid soap into the pipe to make the wall slick. Once the continuous pull of the wire made it to the shore, the line was brought to the platform, then filled with water to make it sink. With the electrical cable now on the water wheel, the generator could be tested. But before testing, we return to the original project, which includes the electronics and charging station. The cable was installed to the control cabinet and the electronics were secured. When the power was tested, it worked better than the original design. The complete system had several deep cycle batteries that were all tied through an inverter to the house. It can power everything connected to it, about three kilowatts of load. As an afterthought, the spiral pump was installed on the opposite side and it worked at pumping water with no loss in electrical generation. The mighty Zambezi River. The potential to bring power and water through the use of water wheel technology makes this a very viable solution for people living off the grid near rivers. The cost of this water wheel is much less expensive than the equivalent energy from a solar panel. Seattle University, the College of Science and Engineering, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and Professionals Without Borders, students, staff, and faculty making innovative and simple designs that are maintainable and sustainable. This proof of concept shows that this off-grid technology can be used to power electric devices as solutions to energy poverty in the developing world.